several things, but I wanted to ask about Burundi. Uh, the the, the uh, Electoral Commission has come out with this date of July 15th, and the opposition says that the conditions aren't right, mm -hmm. particularly because the question of, like, will the current president be running at that time or not mm -hmm. is not decided. You're saying that people should follow Mr. Janet, be involved in his, pro in his, in his process, but what is his position on, on whether Mr. Nkunziza should be on the ballot on July 15th? I think the... Mr. Janet's work and the Secretary General believes that um, it's urgent for the Burundian parties to reach an agreement uh, that will lead to the right conditions for free, fair, and inclusive and peaceful elections. And again, I think calls on everyone to rise above uh, their interest. The, it will be up to the Burundians to decide on their political future. Uh, Mr. Janet is working with political parties and civil society uh, for them to create the atmosphere which, through which the political process can move forward. And, and on this issue of the youth, you, you'd, you'd read off Prince Zaid's statement about the uh, youth wing of mm -hmm. the ruling party working with police. So I wanted to, I mean, I've asked you several times about individual police officers. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have an answer on the second one, but I wanted to ask you, yesterday in this room after the noon briefing, the uh, representative of the AU to Somalia said that a thousand more uh, Burundian police officers will be deployed in Amazon beginning July, uh, June 11th. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to know, does, does the uh, UNSOA or whatever, the, the support mission of the UN, is there any human rights due diligence component in that? Uh, I will that check what the mechanics are of our relationship with uh, UNMASOM, uh, with, uh, with the AU mission in, in that regard. You know, as for the person you, uh, you, you raised, uh, that person does not have a job at the UN. Again, uh, I'm sure people from Burundi, police officers from Burundi and all over the world apply for jobs at the UN. Uh, people are screened and screened appropriately. Uh, but the person you mentioned does not have a post. But do you have a, the UN has a relationship with the Italian program that trains them? Is that the, is that the case? Do you have any it's, comment on them the, putting in the putting their training on hold? Obviously, what uh, I think it's it's important that people uh, raise these human rights uh, concern. But it's a decision made by the Italian government.